Hey guys, and welcome back. It has actually been a while since I've sat down to film, and I'm actually filming in a different location right now. I wanted this to be a little bit more casual and just chilled. I'm just talking to you about skincare, about a particular brand that I've been trying out. So I'm gonna be talking about Drunk Elephant skincare. I have been testing it out since, I've been testing out for many, many months. The bulk of the products I've had since November of use some of them up completely. And I wanna give you my thoughts on the entire line as a whole and then break down the products that I've actually tried. In skincare videos, I like to leave my face makeup free just so you can see my skin and when I'm talking about issues and concerns, you can actually see that instead of a mask of makeup on my face. Um, and my son <laughs> is gonna be playing in the background. So I'm just sitting on my bed, it's morning. Oh, hold on. I have the soap in my pocket because he kept trying to play with it. Just sitting on my bed, it's morning, I just want to talk to you about some skincare. So, I'm going to talk about the brand as a whole first and then I'm going to break down the products. I really enjoy the whole, I guess you could say mission behind the brand. I like the idea of clean skincare, only putting in products that are beneficial to your skin, keeping all the bad stuff out. So this is a more high-end brand, it is definitely a pricier brand. And there are some of the products that I believe are worth it, and then there's some that I think that you can find other you can find other options. Um, but I'm going to break that down real quick. So I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to go through the products in the products in this box. So ooh, I got this the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday sale, and this was an amazing way to try out a bunch of their products for a good deal. I believe this was about the. I think this was the price of <laughs> I think this was the price of the full size product that was in here and then I got all these to try out which last quite a while actually. So, let's just start with the full size product in there and that is the TLC From Boost Glycolic Night Serum. This is um, $90 I believe and then they also have a bigger size for around 130. I will put that here if I'm wrong. <laughs> But first of all, packaging on Drunk Elephant's um, line is amazing. I love their packaging. I love that this is an airless pump, so it squishes the product up, so you get every last drop. I did open this. I don't remember how I got this open, um, but I have seen the pump inside. But anyways, I really enjoy the packaging. The colors are beautiful. It's beautiful to look at, but it's also very functional and it keeps the product, keeps it airtight and fresh. And that's really important when it comes to the vitamin C serum, which I haven't tried, but definitely like the packaging. Okay, so this glycolic night serum, this is actually the first AHA BHA that I tried and I love it. So good, it does an amazing job of exfoliating your skin gently and over time and um, it helps to improve the texture of your skin. It helps with breakouts. It has, it says 12% AHA BHA. The BHA in this I believe is salicylic acid. But anyways, I would use this at night and I did just recently run out of this. So I was debating on repurchasing this or finding a less expensive alternative. And I've gotta say, I found the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow, and it is a, is that, does it have BHA? I think it has AHA and BHA in it. And I feel like it is slightly, slightly more effective than this one. I don't, it has a little bit more of a tingling sensation, and so I think that it would not be good if you had sensitive skin. It could be a little more harsh for your skin. This, I feel, it never irritated me. So it's a very gentle way of exfoliating and still getting the job done, if that makes sense. So I definitely recommend this if you have $90 to spend on this. It lasted like maybe three months. No, no. I got this in November. Let's see, what month are we in? It lasted about four months. That's not bad. It's definitely a good thing to have in your skincare routine. I do recommend it but I'm enjoying the Honeymoon Glow as well, so. Okay, so next product in here is the Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. I loved this stuff, like, and it's only $32 for the big one, so it's really not horribly priced. If I wasn't in love with one of their other cleansing products even more, then I would be buying this and using this, and I may in the future get this, because I, it's a really nice, just gentle, perfectly pH balanced cleanser. It's no fuss, very simple, clean the skin. 
I really enjoyed this. Um, all right, the next product is the Hydra this little guy, Intensive Hydration Serum. Now, this just adds a boost of hydration to your skin, mainly. It probably has a couple of other things that it does, but um, it says Pineapple Ceramide Pro Vitamin B5. I still have some of this left. I haven't used it a whole lot. I like it. It's kind of a jelly serum. It has no scent whatsoever. And it does add some hydration, and I think maybe in the summer it would be a little bit better, but in the winter it just wasn't it wasn't enough, but if you need a little bit more than your moisturizer's giving you, this is a good little boost in there, but I just don't know that it's a product that's worth it for me. I know there are people out there that absolutely love this product, but it, for me, it was just, I'm not gonna buy this. So there's that one. Okay, next is the Alala Retro Whipped Cream. Now this is actually the first product that I purchased from Drunk Elephant. I had this product like several, several, several months ago, used up the full size, and then I got this one, the little one inside this. I like this cream. I prefer the next one I'm gonna talk about, the other cream that I'm gonna talk about. I prefer it more than this one, but this is a very good, um, I'm almost out of the little bitty one, but this is a very good, very rich moisturizer. It's pretty thick, and it's very, very moisturizing. So I feel like this is more maybe a winter one than the other one, it's a little bit thinner, but I actually prefer the other one. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but I do like this. I used an entire one up, and I've been using this one, and I do like it. The last product that was in here, um, I've misplaced the actual bottle because I used it up, but it's the Sea Tangle, Tangle? It is the C Tango Multi Vitamin Eye Cream. I do love this eye cream. I'm currently using one from Bliss. It's much, much cheaper. Um, that is a vitamin C, and so I'm testing that one out, but I do love the C Tango. It is an amazing eye cream. I don't remember how much it is, full size, but I'll put this, put that on the screen. But I do really love the eye cream. Maybe not my holy grail eye cream, um, but I do really love it. So that was all that was in this drunk night kit. I don't know. <laughs> so those are the products that came in that. So shortly after I purchased that, um, I picked up the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream because I had been eyeing this. I wanted to try this so bad and I love this. Oh, I just wish it wasn't so expensive. But the, but the quality of ingredients in this product is definitely, hi baby, <laughs> definitely amazing. And I have used every last drop of this. Nothing else comes out. I feel like this is an amazing night cream. Just based on the things that I have learned about it, I think that would be a good one to use over long periods of time to help fight signs of aging. Amazing moisturizer. It's more a lightweight than the La La Retro, but it's still like it sinks into the skin and your skin just feels so moisturized. It's $8 more than the La La Retro, but I love it a lot more. So, yeah. Of those two creams, I definitely recommend the Proteiny one. Um, and I will be repurchasing it in the future. I just have some other skincare that I am working on right now. And I have purchased some other expensive things that I'm trying out. So it just wasn't in the budget at the moment. But I definitely will try that one some more in the future. Okay. My favorite Drunk Elephant product that I use every single night and will continue to repurchase over and over and over and over and over again. Um, kind of surprised me. I've had this one for quite a while. I don't even remember when I bought this. I think it was when I had the first tub of La La Retro and I still have some of it left. I didn't use it a whole lot at first because it wasn't a product that I was used to using, um, but I recently picked it back up and I use it every single night, every single morning. And when this is gone, I'm definitely getting more. So I'm talking about the Peaky and Juju cleansing bar. Here they are. I've used the Juju bar, the exfoliating one more. It's almost completely gone. This is an amazing way to wash your face. So normally when I think of bar of soap, I think of stripping, drying out, and I don't want to use a bar of soap. Like I just, I had that in my head, but this is not that. This is an amazing, again, like the jelly cleanser, a gentle pH balance cleanser that's not gonna strip your skin. It's just gonna get the job done and do it gently. And I love it so much. So I just alternate between these two. And basically what I'll do is I lather it up in my hands and then I just put that on my face. A lot of times I'll use my, the Luna Fofo. It's the silicone vibrating facial cleanser thing. <laughs> Anyways, I'll use that to um, 
instead of my hands. I can't talk, sorry. Anyways, I love these so much. This one has some little bitty tiny exfoliating grit in it and um, so when I feel like I just need to get a little bit of the dead skin off that, but I don't wanna use like a scrub, I will use this one and I use this one a lot more than this one, but I love them both and this was, I think if you get the two little sizes, because these are the smaller ones, um, it's around 20 bucks for the two pack. Um, I think if you get one of like the big bar, it's $28. But I bet that big bar would last me for two years because this has lasted for so long. So I think it's a relatively inexpensive way to cleanse your face and I really love it. I think that this would last a lot longer than the gel and the gel's more. So um, yeah, that's my number one. I know it's kind of a boring product and it's like, really? But that's my number one drunk elephant product that I love and that I couldn't find anywhere else. I don't think I could find another facial bar soap thing <laughs> that I'm gonna enjoy this much. So I think Drunk Elephant is an amazing skincare line if you can afford it. When I first started buying skincare from Drunk Elephant, I'm like, oh my gosh, these prices are ridiculous. But when I was going to find replacements for them on Sephora, again, Sephora, not like drugstore, but on Sephora, they were actually on the lower end of the high-end skincare for some of the products. When you look at how much you get for the price and also the quality is amazing. So I don't think that they're outrageously priced. I think that um, skincare is one thing that you really have to invest in and I'm sure there are some good drugstore options but a lot of them are still gonna have some of those fillers that you don't want. And I just, I really, really enjoy this line and just um, the whole story behind the company. So if there's any other skincare line you would love for me to try out and give thoughts on. It would take a little while to you know test it out, but I'm definitely willing. I'm currently looking at a lot of Glow Recipe and Pharmacy products. I really, really am enjoying the ones I've tried. Again, the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow has replaced my Drunk Elephant TLC. And yeah, let me know if there's more that you want me to try out from Pharmacy. All right, guys, I'm sorry it's been a while since I posted a video. I've been having migraines and it's been my busy season for photography, so I've just been swapped between headaches and editing and you don't even wanna see the mess that's around me. The bed is made and then there's stuff everywhere on the floor, so. I will be able to get back into a normal schedule soon. This may be the only video this week. It just depends on how the rest of my week ends up going. Um, but if you have any video ideas or requests, please leave them in the comments below because i am almost gone through my uh, list of videos and I need to add some more to it. But also, I've been curious, if you are a regular watcher of my videos, you watch most of them, but you've never commented, leave a comment down below and say, pineapple. <laughs> um, I'm just curious to see who watches silently. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, I'm just curious to see how many people actually watch uh, regularly. Does that make sense? All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all so much. It really, really helps me out when y'all hit that like button. So if you did like this, please hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous, bye. Oh, I'm hunching, I'm sorry. I'm like, ugh. Okay, so of those two cream, creams, <laughs> I'm spitting. <laughs> so shortly after I love you kisses. <laughs> Lincoln's gonna talk to you. Hi sweetie, do you see yourself? I love you. You got mama's gray card? So yeah, I think I'm done talking. I love you. Kisses. Where's my kisses? Where's my kisses? No, thank you.